welcome to my newest video. Thank you for clicking on it, all you amazing people. Happy birthday if it's your birthday, by the way. Yeah. I said that. Happy birthday, but it's your birthday. All right, what are we doing today? I'm pretty... This, okay, this one sounds pretty cool. They all sound cool, but this one sounds really cool, okay? What we're making here is I'm making oobleck, which, you, as you guys know, I once made a video with Ollie on how to make slime, and every comment was telling me that what I actually made was oobleck without knowing it. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I'll link down below. But anyways, today I'm making oobleck, and with this oobleck, I will be making a stress ball out of it, and I'm going to tell you guys how to do it pretty easy all you need to make oobleck is cornstarch and water and maybe some food coloring and then to actually make the stress ball all you need is balloons and a funnel really all you need is balloons but i just got a funnel and this water bottle to make my life a little easier let's go ahead and get started i think this is gonna be pretty cool i've never made a, i've never made a stress ball before so let's try this out before we get started have you guys ever seen these okay let's see if it'll focus these are called sizzlers did anybody else have these when they were a child? Because when I saw these, I was like, childhood memories, childhood memories. So I had to buy them. I'm gonna show you guys how they work real quick. Open, open sesame. I'll be right back. All right, so you see them? They're magnets, but watch this. When they get together, they sizzle. This literally reminds me of childhood. Cherry Festival. Back in the Cherry Festival, they used to have these and we used to have them and highly recommend these. They're called Sizzlers. Back to the actual video though. All right, so to do this video, first we have to make oobleck. To make oobleck, basically if you add one cup of cornstarch, you need to add a half a cup of water. All right, so let's go ahead and, and I already made a freaking mess. I can't even, ugh. One. Oh my gosh. It looks like I'm doing cocaine. To be semi-accurate, there's one cup of cornstarch in there. I'm not sure if we should add the food coloring now or after. I'm gonna add it right now, just in case. I'm gonna make it green. All right, so one cup of cornstarch, half a cup of water. All right, that's about half a cup of water. We're gonna mix it together now until it makes a nice oobleck substance. Ah, so hard to stir though, let me show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands just because I feel like it needs to be mixed up better. I think it needs more water. Oh wait, they're not too black. When you play with it, it's hard and then when you let go of it, it melts into slime, then it hardens. Oobleck is so cool, guys, like the way it works. All right, so that is my oobleck right there. I'm gonna add just a teensy bit more water just because I feel like it might need it. This is definitely it. All right, here's what I'm gonna do now. So what I have here is I have this funnel and this, and I'm going to pour the oobleck into this very carefully. This will make it easier to get it into the balloon when we're ready. Wish me luck, guys. Ooh, this is actually way easier than I thought it would be. So now it's just gonna slowly, very, very slowly, might I add, go into here. Okay, when it goes in here, it like goes in a little circle. It looks so cool the way it's dripping into it. Almost there. All right, I'm calling it. It's literally just dribbling in in slow motion now. So now we have our water bottle of oobleck, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Now we're gonna get a balloon. What color balloon should we do? What color, say your color right now. Did you choose your color? What color am I gonna do? I'm gonna do red, for those of you who said red. Now I think I need to blow it up first. How am I gonna do this? Oh my gosh, this is like the same issue I had. When I did the Jello Orby, same thing. You have to like hold on to it and put it over somehow without screwing up somehow. Think Cassie, think how did you do it last time? Oh yeah. You can't fool me. Now I'm going to pour the oobleck into the balloon, which is gonna take freaking forever, just like it did for the other thing. Gosh darn it. This is working though, so that's good. Squeezing it violently only helps a little. Aha, got it. So we're gonna take the balloon off of the water bottle. Thank you for your service. All right. We're gonna do this, we're gonna let out the air, and now we're going to wrap the balloon up. <laughs> and then, there you have it. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. There is your DIY stress ball. What's cool about it, I think, is because it hardens a little bit. Then when you squeeze it, it loosens up. Oh, this feels so cool, guys. I can't believe I actually did it. Seems like it's pretty good, though. Why don't we make Ublex stress balls more often?
All right, guys, there you have it. This is my DIY Ublek stress ball. Hope you guys liked it. It was really simple and really easy. I feel like this is one of the more easier DIYs that I did that actually succeeded. Ublek is really cool. If you guys want to try this, I'll put down the directions that I followed. Well, I didn't really follow directions, so I'll just let you guys know what I did and how much of everything I used. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I make videos like this all the time. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Stay awesome, all you racing people. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or dislike it, whatever. Leave a comment down below about what other videos you guys want to see and how your guys' day is going. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Ah! Goodbye. Love you.